Hey guys, so today this video is going to be on my favorite items from May. If you would like to see my favorite items from the month of May, please stay tuned. So I have a quite a bit few um, items that I like. I call them items because they're not all beauty related. So um, we're just going to go ahead and jump into my favorite items right now. Um, it's quite a bit so I might try and rush through but I will try and leave links to where I've got them below or I could tell you where exactly you can get them so the first item is actually a musical item um, I bought this guy's album the day it came out um, it came out I believe June 28th and I mean I just had to have it so um, the first thing is the dreams album for play and I am in love with the whole album I have all of his albums and I was so excited when this one came this is actually his fourth one that was released in the store but fifth album in total because he has the Terry Nash um, 1977 that was actually a mixtape and I still have that so you know I'm a true big dream fan so this album you guys definitely have to go check it out on iTunes I got it for $13.99 um, I'm pretty sure at Target the first week that it comes out is going to be $19.99 and if you want the deluxe album it will be $13.99 and then after that the original price would probably be $13.99. So the next thing is for all my readers, I'm a big reader. I love reading all kinds of books. Um, I've never done an audio book before. I'm very old fashioned so I just go by the hard covers or like the paperback books. So I actually found this book at Walmart and I got this book when I first moved here because we didn't have cable or anything like that so I needed something to read. And it's called The Keisha Diaries, the bag, the first volume because it's like the first book ever. And it's by Earl Sewell. Um, it's a great, great book. It's about this girl. She was a foster child in the beginning and then like she her mom went to jail or something like that. Well, it was around that. Her mom went to jail. I'm not going to tell you everything. And then her dad ended up adopting her. And he was like a wealthy person. And she never knew her dad until she was 16. So this is a great book to read. It's, um, it's very good. It's not like one of those nasty books like Zane. My husband called them sex books. But it's not like that. This is actually like real life. And it's a great book. And um, it kept it kept my attention, so I do love it. I do recommend this book for a lot. Moving on to the body, the whole body part. Um, there are a couple of things I'm gonna go through, like um, products that I like, care products, and then I'll go with, through the beauty products afterwards. So the first thing is this lubricating and rewetting drops. I wear contacts and. I'm one of those people who don't take their contacts out. I know it's bad. I know, I know, I know. But I'm just, I just hate taking them out, putting them back in. So I just leave them in all the time. Um, my contacts don't dry out a lot. But since the weather has changed and it's more spring and more pollen in the air and everything, I do buy these. I got these at Walmart and I got a two pack for, I believe, $2.88. It's the Equate, so the Walmart brand. And I just do two drops in each eye and it lasts me for like a good I do it twice a day in the morning and at night while wow, because I don't want my contacts to dry out and then my contacts are the type where it's like they dry out and then they just fall out my eye like Ugh! that's how you know I kept them in for longer than 30 days but I know it's bad I know I know I know but this is like a great product I love the whole like re-wetting thing and keeping me lubricated all day and it's this is a great product for the price 288 but instead of paying seven eight nine dollars for like the name brand this is the equate apricot scrub it's for blemish and black head control it's just like the st ives one but this one is a lot cheaper st ives is for i believe like four bucks and this is actually two dollars two at walmart and it's the same exact thing it has the scrubs beads everything in it it, it, it like exfoliates everything scrubs great like um it's good for like blackheads and everything and i just love i love any type of scrub like for your face anything like that like i just love it because i feel like it actually gets like the cleaning done like for real so i do highly recommend this this is a dollar i think 224 at walmart that was how much i paid for it um I'm not sure if every Walmart sells it, but I know the Walmart out here sells it. I haven't seen it in the Walmart in California, so I'm not sure. 
but um, you can always check online and see. Um, it says it's compared to the St. Ives Blemish and Blackhead Control Apricot Scrub. And I had that one and then I bought this one and you can't tell the difference. It's the same exact thing. It's just one is a name brand and one it's is all not. the Body Ecology products from Walmart. Um, I love the mist and I love the heavy creams like the um the body the high draining body creams i don't really like the lotions the lotions are too watery and i don't really get the shea butters or anything because then it's too greasy i like a certain amount of thickness of a lotion so i like this um i am to be honest i am a victoria's secret girl but I have tons and tons and tons of Victoria's Secret products back in California that have not yet been shipped out here so I don't want to keep buying the same stuff over and over again so I was like let me be a cheapie and try Walmart's brand and these are 317 three like 317 between 317 and 350 dollars each and they smell awesome they're great. Um, I use them day and night. I spray like my husband hates it. I'd like 30 sprays. <laughs> and he's like, you get on my nerves spraying it. I'm like, it feels so good spraying it on yourself. It's so cold and it feels good and he hates it. But um, I spray everything. I spray it down. Like I've been using this for like a week and that's how much I've used so far. Maybe I've, I think I've used it less than a week, but that's how much I use. I go through these things like so fast. That's why I can't mess with Victoria's Secret anymore because Victoria's Secret is like 15 bucks a bottle. And I'll go through that in like two weeks. And so that's why I was like, I'm so glad that I found these. I'm saving money and then I can buy more so I can waste more. Cause I'm like 40 sprays and I'm done. And then I'll do it twice a day. So, or if I'm out and I need to refresh it up, then I'll spray again another 20 sprays. So I'm very bad with the body sprays. Very, These very bad. Are the FX products? Um, I like this curl it up. This is for um, when I want to wear my hair wavy. I just wet it, pour some of this in, and crunch it up. And I'm telling you, this stuff smells so good. Like all of the products smell so good. And these were $4.87 each. So I got the curl, the recurl, and defrizzing. Everything is a defrizzer so it doesn't frizz my hair up. And um, you can see, I don't know if you can see if it's like almost gone, but yeah, I bought this last month and it's like already almost gone. And um, the next one is the Argon Oil. And it's still by the same company. So all of these were $4.87. And um, I like this non-greasy which is good the only thing is that and you can tell that it puts some weight on the hair um weight as in like you know when hair is dry and has nothing in it it's really frizzy and flyaways everywhere this puts weight on the hair so it's not that and it's more i wouldn't say it's greasy but you can tell it's product in it because it's real shiny so this I use a lot more than this one. This is kind of the same thing, but these are just silk drops. And this is just for like your split ends and to get the frizzes out. And then this is like the argon oil part of the silk drops. So basically I kind of got the same thing, but I kind of didn't. So, <laughs> but these, these are great products to use and I freaking love them. Um, the last one is this. I used this the other day actually, because um, since I got my sew in, Put back in i have yet i have not washed it until like three days ago i washed it and then i'm telling you when i washed it for the first time that it been sold back in my head my hair tangled so bad it i don't know if it's because i added more hair or because it's new hair or because the hair is already getting a little old or because i colored the hair i don't know what the reason was but what i did was i went section by section I put this on the shea of butter leave-in conditioner and then I did twist so I had plaques all in my head and I left it in for the whole night because it's a leave-in conditioner and I left my hair in the plaques the whole night and when I got up in the morning I took it out the plaques and you could totally tell the difference of the hair because I don't know if it's my conditioner or the shampoo that just dried the hair out and that's why I tangled but um, in the morning my hair was so soft so 
pretty and I mean like this mess is good and I believe this was around five bucks at Walmart and this mess is good it's a shea butter growing grow strong strengthening strengthening treatment it's a leave-in conditioner and it's for to protect from heat damage and I do curl my hair almost every day so that's probably what it was and um, it's by Cantu so this was I highly recommend this for natural and wheat hair and especially if you got like the Indian hair or the Brazilian hair like tangles it I mean like since I've used this I haven't had a tangle yet and I'm good so I do freaking love them. these are my royal care brushes um, these are my two most used brushes and I'm doing a review on I just got them like two weeks ago and I just love them this I use for my foundation whenever I do wear foundation lately I have not been wearing foundation as much because it is summer and my foundation just sweats off so I do use this whenever I put foundation on and it's so good it oh my gosh it gets everything like it blends very well I'm telling you it's like a straight dupe of a Sigma brush and you can see it's dirty because I used it today and this I love the most the tapered um, I use this every single day like um, I wash it once a week because it's used every single day so I don't want to wash it every day because it takes a minute for it to dry it takes at least two days for it to dry because bristles bristles are so thick um, I use this for my Ben Nye banana powder and I just do this run underneath the eyes and I mean just dab in for like at least a minute oh, it's so good 30 seconds to a minute and it's so good I mean like I just love it and you can see my whole highlighted effect it's so bomb but anyways those are my two favorite brushes right now and then the next thing is my my favorite thing is this palette that I got from BH cosmetics I actually got it a while ago but I just started using it last month and it's the 28 neutral eyeshadow palette i did a review on i mean not a review ugh. i did a tutorial using this palette and um i found many ways to use this palette so i do love it and it's in it's like one of my everyday palettes to go to because it's great for the whole natural look nothing heavy and um I just this is my favorite color this white color because <laughs> it's like white then it has like green undertones in it so it's so perfect and I just love it for everything and then I use this this is like my natural color for like in my crease like this palette is gonna I'm probably gonna have to buy another one once because I feel I'm gonna hit the pan pretty soon so on some of these colors that I use every day but this is a great palette to have and um, I'm not sure if these colors is having a sale right now but these don't run, they run, the highest I've seen them run is about like $16.99. That's the highest. So I will put a link for BH Cosmetics down below so you guys can see and check this out. Bomb by e.l.f. It's brand new, brand new. I just got this like last week. So it's one of their new products. And it's um, a conditioning lip balm with SP15. And this one is in... I think it's in tickled pink that's what I think it is and um, it's tinted it's a tinted lip balm and this was I believe uh, two two or three dollars one one of those and it's really huge so it's gonna last me a little bit let's see because I've been using it day and night so I even go to sleep with this on so it's great and um, my lips feel so soft <laughs> So that's that and my next favorite one is my Scandal Get the London Look uh, Mascara. I use it every day. You see I went back to my natural um, eyelashes. I haven't been wearing any falsies lately so that's see you can see oh that's Tierra eyes. <laughs> So yeah, I do love this. This is like $4.87 at Walmart. That's sad I don't know the exact price of things. And then this, of course, is my 
banana powder I love this so much I bought this last month finally I've been wanting this for like at least almost a year and I finally found it at a costume store out here in San Antonio and I paid 17 bucks for it this is the big bottle so it's the big huge one the biggest that you can go and I paid 17 bucks for it great investment um, for it being used every day doesn't look like a lot's been used for it being used every day in months so I still have at least maybe five months in this we'll see maybe four three I don't know depends on how much powder I use but this is great and I use it today underneath my eyes to for my to set my concealer underneath my eyes so I do love this and another thing is I switched my pressed powder um, my buffing powder I was using Iman buffing powder and now I'm using Elf's buffing powder in a color almond and this was actually three dollars online and I'm telling you today I don't have any foundation on all I have is this powder on and amazing this powder and some concealer and minimum contouring so this powder works miracles it's good I love it it's giving me that nice glowy look so I do love that too and um, the next one I honestly won't be able to give you where I got this from because it's a no-name palette and I can't remember where I got it from but I know I got it a long 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 time ago and I just started using it this well last month and it is a 10 concealer palette so this is what I use to get my highlighted look um, as you can see, I have not touched the dark colors. I've touched all of the light colors this way. And this is what I use every single day since I discovered that I had this. I've used it every single day and this is what I use for my highlighting. And I don't go a day without using this palette and I freaking love this palette. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, I can't remember exactly where I got it from and I don't know how much it was so um, I'll try and figure out something to let you guys know where I got it I don't know I'm sorry <laughs> but the last thing is my 10 blush palette I did a review on this my coastal sins palette and I did swatches and um, I love this palette if you can see my blush I have two blushes on from this palette I am wearing this color and this color so I put this color on first and I put this on top because this color is so freaking bright like I had to mellow it out with a brown undertone so this palette was 10 or 11 bucks at coastalsense.com and um, I got this last month see everything that's in this review I got last month so I'm going to review on last month's stuff so yeah that is basically everything for my favorite product maybe there'll be a giveaway in the near future um, I think I might do a giveaway in like a month or so I'm not sure I have to get settled because I am going back to California in I think eight or nine days to go get my daughter and all my stuff and finish packing and moving straight to Texas so you guys will be with me on that trip seeing California seeing the airplanes all that stuff so yeah um, thank you guys so much for watching thank you to all my new subscribers thank you everyone who's been here from the beginning like comment subscribe and share I will be sharing too I am a new a style haul style haul partner so hi all the style haul people <laughs> that is my fellow sisterhood now so thank you guys for watching see you later bye Tokyo